Expectations are high that the new leadership of the Niger Delta Development Commission will begin its work to provide infrastructure for the region. As with any board's quest to succeed, the Commission's directors, led by the chairman, Senator Ndouma Igba, visit the River State Governor, Yesan Wike, at the government house in Port Akut, the River State capital. Governor Wike urged the new leadership to work with state governments to achieve their development goals. NDC is not a political party. And this is a commission to help for the development of the people of Niger Delta. And so when we see from that perspective, we we'll work as a as a team. And you know that look at where NDC is. There's nothing that happens. It's a nice, it's a big place that we will not go. So I, I believe now that you are the chairman and now that you want to change the narrative. We'll give you the support for you to be able to change this uh, uh, narrative. The NUTC chairman is grateful for the advice. Your Excellency, uh, this board is determined to change the narrative, determined to change the song, determined to change the story, not just of the NDC, but of the region. Some of the projects being taken up by the NDDC include the rehabilitation of the Uwere Port Akkad Road. The board, which was also in Uwere, the Imo State capital, as part of its familiarization tour, assured indigents of the state that the road, which is already being rehabilitated, will be motorable before the next rainy season. We want to maximize the resources that we have so that we can However, the Imo State Governor Rochas Okoracha says he's disappointed over the activities of the NDDC in the state in the past few years. Communities in the Niger Delta are optimistic that the new board will continue to ensure that they benefit from projects and programs of the Commission.